Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? We are doing a Theros Beyond Death Draft League. Oh, I got play points? I'll use play points. Fudge, yeah, I will. Actually, maybe I want to use packs that I just bought. I don't know. Let's expand this bad boy. I would probably use packs because, like, eventually the packs aren't going to be worth much. Right, and I can also, like, use play points for anything else. Right. So, meh. In the future. I like when the dongular connects to the bongular, you know? You love the bongular. Shut up and take my money! Oh, am I taking somebody's money? Here's a draft on me because limited is the best format. Don't at me. I agree with you. I love limited. I love limited because A, it requires less preparation. Like, once you know um, the, the limited format, you know the limited format. You know what I mean? And, um... Oh, Nessian boar. Look at this fat daddy. Fat Daddy Pig. I'm not sure if that's good. What? That's not sure if that card's good. A 10 6 for 5? That's A, it's huge. All creatures able to block it must do so, so you're going to literally wrath their board. But. And whenever it becomes. Oh, we can have someone that creature's control. Yeah, fuck off. Card. Yeah. Fuck. I thought it was the other way. I thought you drew the cards, and then I was like, oh, wait. Yeah, so like you wrath their board, but they draw 5. Yeah, so that's like, pretty rough. And you might not be completely wrathing their board, depending on what they block with. What is Scophos Maze Warden? Plus, well, yeah, all right, sure. I do like this. This card's great. You remember this? Mike recently read the whole set for his for his, for his his commander interests. It was all right. The card draw is actually less relevant than it seems. <coughs> I had it in two limited pulls and it ended games. Interesting, interesting. Well, maybe we should try it. All right, let's grab it. 10-6 for five. Oh, what if that's going to be funny if they block with all their guys and they kill your board in response and then you're just like, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Draw five, kill your board. <laughs> and they're like, all right, all my creatures. Look at these sick lands, dude. Yeah, they are pretty sweet. All right, I'm going to try the boar. When it enters the battlefield, create a number of 1-1 one, one white human soldier tokens. Me and Rob were talking about this. What's the... Oh, we could add two of these. What's the uh, What's the amount that you have to have to make this good? I don't know. What about three? If you make three one ones, is that good enough? No, because then it's just a 5-6 for 5, which is... Eh. No, it's not. Three one ones? That's a 4-5. Oh, that's even worse. You're like, well, if it wasn't good enough at five, this card's good. Exile a creature for five. Yeah. When this enters battlefield, look at the top seven. You put an aura in your hand. Whenever an aura becomes attached to a creature, you control creature one one. This seems real good. If you have auras, though. We'll just get the bad. auras, bro. This card also seems great, too. Dang. What does Ashiok's Erasure go for? Probably a shiny nickel. Um, five tokens is when I start feeling really good about it. I was gonna look something up, wasn't I? I don't know, man. Not in your brain. Do you don't like this card? It's okay. Is there any fixing in this format that would make this like me, make me not feel bad about this? There's like the land that's like you can you can fill oh, that card's for a terrible. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, I was looking up Ashiok's Erasure. That's what I was looking up. I wanted to make sure that's not like a five ticket mythic or something or rare other. No way. No effing way. No, it's like seven cents. Oh, we took it anyway. Well, that was not our intention, but it's a new set, so I'm going to just deal with it. Um, So this is just auras. It doesn't count for, for these bad boys. It doesn't count. If it counted just in Chamus, that card would be sick. Two of any if you control a four or higher power. That guy, that's the weenie. Apparently that guy's the weenie. I don't know who that is, but... I don't... Two of any power if you control a creature of four heart. What, what are you saying right now? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Oh, this guy? This is this, seeing that guy. That's the weenie. What are you saying right now? Um, I also... This card's just great. Can't attack or block, and then you get to exile it. 
and it's an aura. But this is like this is whenever an aura becomes attached to a creature you control. So I'm just gonna take. Just though it's still removal. I'm still taking the removal. Oh, Hydra's growth seems great, and there's two of them here. You know what this guy does? He's gonna read it, and then he's gonna be like, "Yeah, I know what that does." That's pretty good. It's also an aura. Oh, is this... an aura that gives float so we can put on the board and just smash face the... That's actually pretty good. I do like a float aura. A flora, if you will. Not to be confused with a fauna. I like the fight aura, too. That's good. Yeah, this one is good. You can put it on your board and fight, and then he's a 10-8. That's a 10-8. That's a 10-6, good buddy. That's a 10-4. That's what we're looking for, 10-4. Um, one thing I dislike about this card is that this is a format with, like, enchantments that are relevant, right? But this one's like, okay, it has to be an aura specifically. So you're like, oh, dang, so this doesn't... Oh, but they're like, oh, this is an enchantment aura. And then it's like, oh, but it has to be a creature you control. So that shuts off this aura that hits lands. And it shuts these auras off that hits their creatures. So it's kind of like, it's there's like four different, there's regular enchantments. There's enchant lands. There's enchant your creature that you want to. And then there's enchant their creature. There's like four different types of cards that you're going to be looking for in this set. And this like is only relevant for like one of them. Yeah, I don't know why they made it so specific. <laughs> I got it. I don't know why I made this. See, like, here's a cool enchantment. I love this one. Okay, it's it's flash. It makes two one ones, but it doesn't sound going to trigger this. Uh, this seems not bad. Seems fine. And this... Oh, what up, Super Fritz? Don't be talking about my Flana. And this is also good. Both of these... I think all three of these are fine choices. I just thought... These lands look freaking spectacular. I also feel like my time is going way faster. I'm taking a lot more time to make these picks. Uh, this is just gain like your devotion. It's just meh. It could add up though. Don't care about this guy. Three threes for three. Remember when three three for three were like, wow, that's really good. But this guy's like a three three for three with a an untap a creature ability. Get out of here. So gives one guy vigilance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, I guess. I think I just rather have these like these tricks. Oh yes, this came back. That's fantastic. Oh, Wolf Will Haven's not terrible. Sure. Oh, no. This is terrible and limited. God, these lands look really good, man. If you don't stop kicking my things, Michael. <laughs> eh. Creature gets plus X plus O or X is your devotion. I'm just going to take all these. We have We have two of these. Thank you. Sneaky Labeek. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I'm taking this land for sure. These lands are gorgeous. Oh, man. Look at this. People are just passing these. These are tempting to play. And I never play non-unhinged lands. Enigmatic Incarnation. It's a four mana enchantment at the beginning of your end set. This is like the Neo form, right? You may sack another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with a good rank. Has you go to one plus the sacrament enchantments. Put that card on the battlefield. So I can sacrifice like any of these two mana auras and search for a three drop. But that does require us to be blue, which right now we are not. Caramatra's Blessing is good. Plus two, plus two, and then in indestructible or hex proof if it's uh you know if it's got an enchantment on it. Yeah, like these lands are just they're so vivid. Ah, they're just really they're Who's the artist on those bad boys? Sam Burley. He did a good job. I think he's like an art director at, at Watsi actually. Revoke is good. Triumphant Surge is good. Hydra's Growth number two is good. I'll just take Revoke. Oh. Oh. Oh dang. That's alright. That's fine. I was like, I thought you were gonna say this, and I was like, oh, so I took it, but then like Yeah, Revoke's real good too though. Uh at the beginning of combat in your turn, if you can control another creature with power four or greater, put a one on counter on it. It's 2-2 two, two for 2. Yeah, seems fine. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Upside sometimes. Oh, wow. This card's great. Have you seen this? You've seen this. Yeah, one. I know that one. I know, like, I skipped over a lot of, like, the common and uncommon stuff because it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's no Fleece Man Lion. I think Fleece Man Lion is still better, but this guy's still good. 3-3 three, three with Indestructible, and it makes another dude. And it becomes an aura, so, like, again, ideally this guy comes back. You can put an enchantment from your graveyard on top of your library. Or this. I'll take either of these. This is just a 1-3. Whenever an enchantment enters battlefield, you may look at the top three cards. Reveal a land and put the rest on the bottom of your library. I 
someone on, someone on Twitter was just like, or on Twitch or on YouTube, um, I'll get it right. Was like, is Vintage Q over now? Yeah, buddy, it's over now. <laughs> Unfortunately. TPO, what were you saying about this dude being the weenie? What were you? <laughs> Where was that? I'm be honest, man. About the set, yeah. I think overall the power level of the set is way lower than the last couple sets. That's funny you say that because, like, when I was, I think I don't know. I think it's because there's too there's too much synergy going on. And synergy tends to be like slow and grindy. As because you to... need other cards to make them good, you know. Whatever. Oh, Temple of Plenty. That's not bad. This guy's good. Or do I take the rare Temple of Plenty? Which is probably worth literal a nickel. I don't think it's probably worth a nickel. Dog shit. <laughs> Nothing but a dog shit. Wow, it's really bad. It's really, it's worth three cents. Yeah, we're just taking the Transcendent Ooh. Envoy. You okay? Yeah. Oh, you're looking at your glasses and you said oof. No, you were looking at the car. I thought you were, thought someone was wrong. Nick's Lotus, isn't that going for something? No, it's like 16 cents. Damn. If the card with Lotus in the name, it might be worth something. Eventually, maybe. When it's when it's this dies, exile card from an opponent's graveyard. Don't care. Whenever an enchantment you control is in a battlefield, this creature gets plus one, plus one. This is actually decent when we have two of the Indomitable Will, which is Flash. God, Michael's in rare form today. I don't think it's Nick's Lotus. I just don't give a shit about Nick's Lotus. I think it's either one of these two. How many drafts you want to do? You were asking if there's fixing, and I said, yes, there's a two-mana green weenie. Oh, and then you were like, yes, that's the weenie. How many drafts I want to do? Yeah. Wow, do we do we play the three Siona deck? Uh, I don't know if you want three, She's man. legendary. She's a 2-2, two -two, though. Like, she's not that impressive. Yeah, but she searches. Like, every time you play her, you could get top seven, and you rule an aura. Yes. She makes one ones, man. She's This is the centerpiece of our deck. Now we're playing a, now we're playing a pre con. Yeah, three. I'll take a three-three for three, sure. Or do I want the three-four for four? No. Why not? Me. What? Just kind of me. I think it's better than the three-three for three. Oh, Hydra's growth. Sure. One to four with reach. Whenever enchanters are battlefield, you gain two life. Oh, okay. all right. Okay, Triumphant sure. surges. Okay, boost. Okay, boost. Scry one for five mana. Meh. Creatures you control the plus X where X is their. I mean, I'll just take that. It could be like plus four, plus four or something. God, look at all these beautiful lands I'm getting. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Down where it's wetter. Mike B gets better. Under the sea. I'm sorry, what? Huh, what? Oh, the double Nessian boar triple C on a deck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think it's just got to be the double Nessian boar, right? Obviously. It's a 10-6, man. Oh, a double Ashiox Erasure, too. Mm. I don't know if that's as good. What do you got here? Lonesome Chimera. Three mana for a 4-1. Yeah, that's... Thank you! Uh, search library for basic land, put on the battlefield, tap, then shelf your library. That's not bad. Llama Goy, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Appreciate you, my dude. I saw earlier Ross Mary made seven mana out of two lands and proceeded to raise where they already do. Jeez. Yeah, but that's in Constructed, though, right? Under the sea. This guy's real good. 
we have no we can actually what if we splash one swamp off of our our omen of the hunt it's just three three man it's not that good it's vigilance menace lifelink yeah but and they can't cast their escape cards you want to ruin your manage for that guy kind of yeah Ugh. you're crazy man oh what happens if you do attack with both of these guys i don't know that's interesting should have made him legendary Graph Doggo's Cage. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. There's no way you just came up with that right now. I think this is better than anything else in the pack. I'm going to take this. Maybe we splash it. Maybe we don't. I like a Warbriar's Blessing. Warbriar. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can get a Revoke on the wheel. Man, we could add two of these, too. Jeez. Oh, also, this adds, this adds black, too. Does it? What's wrong with you? What do you mean, does it? I mean, if we're going to splash, you should take it. What? This? We already have one, though. So why wouldn't you want more if you're well, splashing? Well, because we already have 24 playables. I kind of like this guy. When there's a battlefield, you can go to, to a flying creature, and then you can escape it later. This card's great. Don't be a dummy. It's good sometimes. Chenacritch has 1-1 one, one and Vigilance. Yeah, okay. Sure. Why well, got under sea stuck in your head, Michael? I don't know. Under the sea. Take it from Mike B. I'll take it from Mike B. Dude, it's cold outside. All right, I'll take another Ash Shocks Eraser, sure. Definitely ain't hot. That's literally what I said. No, you said it ain't cold outside. I mean, it is cold Michael, outside. Michael, that's the same thing. It's not. Else, why would there be other words? What? Uh, or supposed to cost one less. Yeah, I'll take another Envoy. Envoy! Gotta hate the art for that card. The, the fat mouth one? Yeah. The fat mouth art? Is this a foil? Huh. No, I guess not. It just looks fancy. Black is much better. Black, black, oh, black, oh, black, oh, black, Only one more day of getting up at 7.30. And then what? You gotta wake up at 7.30 tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Oh, is it more overtime? Yeah, same time, 8.30 to 12.30. I mean, I think you're better for doing it, my dude. I know. Doesn't mean it doesn't suck. Considering I probably won't get to bed at like 4 a.m. Oh my god, get to bed. Alright, so. Look, we can even play this dog, man. Dogman. Dogman. What is uh, this cart's so good, dude. I feel like I want to play it. It's your mana so bad though for no reason. There's a reason. We also have to play the Owen of the Hunt too, so now we have twenty nine cards. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think we need that. Well, if we're not playing it, then we can just take out the we can take out this. Omen and the carry added really. I'm 
think with the spider in the board. Spider in the board. Bam. We'll just play 41. I think a rumbling giant. It's got sure. this 3-6 dummy. Into this world for prone. I'm doing the zoo what it do. Michael B's alone. All right, let's see what this deck can do. You got a swamp to splash your dog. <laughs> hey man, did you see this baby Jabba? Oh God. I did not. I did not. I like a little lion on pig action. Mill them out? What are you even saying right now? Well, I wish we had a white source in this hand, my dudes. Uh, anything been overperforming? I mean, this is my third draft, and the first ones I went 0-2, 1-2, so I cannot say. Uh, I think we just mulligan this. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> and now he wonders why he goes. This is not why. X, X. X, X. <laughs> wow, what is that like? It can be Let's whatever you want. Dang it. That's actually real good if we had a planes. Can we get a second? A plane's next turn would be absolutely insane. I had one friend here with me during your set review with Rob. He laughed so much at the Bob Marley Sphinx comments and my joke about how it taps for marijuana to secure the future. And then you said that I was great. That uh, my friend became your new fan and got why I liked to watch you so much. Oh, that's not it. But that's still playable. Dude, that's Mark. That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> God, I kind of want to go watch that, that Sphinx's Revelation part again. Can't be blocked by enchanted creatures or enchantment creatures. I'll just take two. What's behind the bleen door? What's a bleen door? You know. Nope, don't. Oh, wow. You going to make him a big boy? Yeah, we're going to try to. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Destroy the child. So every turn you double the counters? Every turn you double the counters, yeah. And then eventually he'll put his own counters on himself, so. God damn. Oh, biscuits. Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy and... Oh, wow, we just whiff? Wow, that's insane. And what? What? Biscuits and gravy and what? N nothing. Something, something weird. <laughs> Timbo's and Davies. Who's Timbo and Davy? Is that the name of your old band? Yeah. <laughs> your, 60s, your 60s folk band, Timbo and Davy. You should trade with the... You want to trade? Yeah. I have two enchantments in hand. They're each going to make one ones. But what if you die? Double the number of one one counter. Wait, this says at the beginning of combat if you control. Oh, no, oh, it's another creature. I got you. Planes again. Give me two. Oh. 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 Just put all your eggs in one basket, man. What does this guy do? Can't block? Shoot. The green door. Why do you get this green door song stuck <laughs> in my head, man? <laughs> this card is pretty bonkers, right? Which one are you, Timbo or Davey? <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to say, man. No one really knows. I'm just going to chump block here. 
I ain't got to be going to a five life. Sacrifice a cr oh, 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 that's real mature, my dude. Joke's on you. I got another one. Please give me planes. Well, that's unfortunate. But we do have a... Oh, this is just 10 damage. Can we get rid of this thing? God. No, I guess not. Dang. Look at how, look how big this friggin' thing is. It has eight counters on it right now. Oh, it gives Tramble. I've messed up real bad. Oh, my God. I <laughs> so, there's so many lines on this card. It generates your control. When it enters battlefield, draw a card. Gets plus one, plus one. I was like, all right, cool. That's fine, man. I didn't want to win this game anyway. Apparently not. Oh, God. Sometimes you just feel just terrible. Well, you should be able to win next turn. They're just going to kill my guy somehow. can't even play the other one, right? Like, it's just shame. <laughs> Plus, I want to have the trample on this guy anyway, so. What's behind the green door? I don't think you can deal five here. Even Grammar only hits four. <laughs> Karametra's thing. Give me that blessing. Eh, that's not what I'm looking for here. Wow, you need to relax. Apparently. Big tra 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 traps! Wow, that's an 1818. That's something right there. Michael, let me ask you something. Okay. What's behind the green door? Nobody knows. I bet some people know. Like who? Your local pharmacist? <laughs> I don't think so. You know? But you're not sure. What 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 is with the mono forests in my hand? I'm gonna do it again, man. This deck doesn't look like it has Nick's Blue Ancients in it. What gives? Oh my god. I wrote about that card for my article tomorrow on coolstuffinc.com. And I talk about how like everyone's hyping that card like crazy, but I'm like, I don't care about it at all. The green door holds back the bober, which of course is a scrober dad. Oh, we did it. You know what it's like to to live, live this. Live it up. Live it up. Oh. Coolstuffinc.com, that's correct. You can get you can get five percent off with the promo code Frank5. I'm tempted to just block here. You can also use promo code Mike5. Mike5 Mike gets you nothing. It makes you pay 5% more. <laughs> and all the profits go to my hot dog collection. Your hot dog collection? Yeah. What did they? What yes, did, this is a draft. What did they play? Who cares, man? They're dead. What's funeral rites do? It's what they have because they're dead. This doesn't even make any sense, Michael. Just stop it. Oh, and like, what is your rarest piece of your hot dog collection? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what is it? What's the, what is the rarest piece of your hot dog collection? Probably my Chinese amber encrusted. Corn dog from ancient civilization. Ancient civilization? <laughs> what the hell's a civilization? It was before civilization. Ancient civilization. Behind the green door. What are you doing here? Oh, all right, cool. I got, buddy. I got multiples of these. Oh, a little two two. Oh, a little two be two be. You got another one of these? 
Wow. Seems good, man. Seems so good, man. Oh, I'll take a Hydra's Growth. For sure, my doodles. Chinese chicken children hot dogs. Yes. There's got to be a reason why you are the way you are. I just don't know what it is. What does this guy do? Plus one, plus zero, and indestructible. Three, two? Sure, I'll take three. That guy needs to go behind the green door. So what if we go like this? Growth on here, it's on two, three, four, five. It, then it still dies though, right? Because it helped two. Behind the green door. It's got trampled, bro. That does not seem as productive. It's got tramps. Well, that's unfortunate. This is why you don't put all your eggs in the same basket. Yep. That is said. Oh, they have no cards in hand? Okay. Sure. We're gonna go control on you. Cancel. Play you first. <clears throat> Behind the green door. It doesn't do anything on a 2 2, right? It doesn't do anything on this either, but I guess it forces them to block something. Oh, I guess we didn't have to do this because it was an enchantment creature all along. Lots of beans, 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 beans. What is the song you're singing about beans? It's a song about beans, bro. Tell me you more about dig you. dig first? No. no. Okay. I don't care about anything. Clearly. Just got back from my first planner dinner before the wedding on Saturday, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be drunk from here on out. So that's good. To, like from today forward. Zedrin, I'm so sorry we couldn't get your stipend, dude. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Things have been hectic because I'm moving. And, uh... I really wanted to, and I will definitely keep it in mind for next time if that's okay. I felt really bad after when I realized I was like, oh, dang. We didn't get your stipend, my dude. Uh, plus one, plus one, indestructible, sure. There will definitely be more cubes. That is true. Behind the green door. Why do you get this song stuck in my head, dude? This draws as a card. It makes you a 4-7, which I think is probably okay. Make you infinite big, big, big. 
Oh, Bronze Hide Leone. Leone. If I attack with everyone, they don't have to, like... I guess they can go block here. If they block here with the 1-3, they take 2. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, they also get big, big, and that's actually pretty good. They also get big, big. Yeah, that just means they can't trade with these two guys profitably. What? Oh, you go to one. Fascinating. I'll put you in the front. <laughs> you and Mike can still come if you can make it to New Orleans. Dude, I would actually love to go to New Orleans. New Orleans? New Orleans. Australian for nice. He's moving to Antarctica to realize he's dreaming of being a penguin. Hey, buddy. Just because I'm a penguin doesn't mean I'm not going to be a streaming pre penguin. Penguin. Did you just say the word penguin? I said penguin. Penguin? Mm -hmm. What is a penguin? If you don't know, man, you'll find out. When? Yeah. <laughs> what? I got plans to go get some some lunch with uh with my mom on on tomorrow at like three. Uh -huh. But uh, what are you, what are you feeling for dinner tomorrow, man? We can do whatever. I got a doctor's appointment at two forty-five, but other than that, I'm pretty much okay. Busy. Well, forget it then. I don't want to go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's beyond the green door? Wow, every hand has been mono mono forest. <laughs> Did you just reveal your whole belly to the stream? No, maybe. Guys, can you tell me if Mike revealed his whole belly to you guys? And if, if so, will I get will I get uh, banned for the Twitch Terms of Service? I think you can show a belly. I think that's okay. <laughs> that's what you think. Dang it. Why don't I ever get these stupid white sources in my deck? Just the button. <laughs> Just the button. Wasn't the whole belly, only moderate belly. Definitely banned. <laughs> TOS. Just the button. <clears throat> Mike B has nipples all over it? I didn't, do I? I don't think so, you got man. nipples all over your belly? That's disgusting, so. Michael. I can't help the way I was borned. Borned? Yeah. Like Jason borned? Mm-hmm. At the beginning of each combat, if you control a creature, it gets plus one, plus one. That's actually not bad for two, three, for three. Um, it's got to be the fight one, right? Yeah, that just seems better than the other ones. Quit Neville shit. <laughs> it's Jason Bourne. We could go to Craft Street for them deals. Well, I feel like I'm just going to have... I mean, my, 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 my mom and I are getting pizza. So I, flatbreads are different than pizza, though. It's not. It's literally it's very just, different it's, flavors. It's it's just a different kind of pizza, right? Which makes it okay to eat twice. Oh my god, we just keep drawing these after we like. I think we just play another one of these, and then if we hit another land, we can go envoy into the other thing, and we get to oh, we get to hit again. Uh, yeah, let's get that. That seems great. Behind the green door. Oh, what up, Josh? Oh my god, Stampede Riders. Fur days. Maybe Mike will break out his vintage Coney 1912 from the World's Fair. His Coney? Mm hmm. What's that mean? Your Coney dog? Coney dog? Yeah. Ever heard of a Coney dog? 
don't know what you're talking about, man. I live in the green door. Is that are you behind the green door? I'm behind it, bro. Oh shit! You don't even know about my green doorness. God, these guys have trampled too. When I rose, I feel so interest the battlefield to a smart target creature playing soccer. That's pretty good. Well, two people made the same joke. Wow, Coney 1912. <laughs> Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons, my dudes. Hit the bell. Hit the bell, and also go down and uh, join the join the page, join the membership. Oh, I forgot they have the membership now. It's like the membership of the ring, you know that one from the the Lord of the Gems. You know that's, that's <laughs> yeah, man. That show. It's my favorite TV drama. <laughs> <laughs> How many fictions can we mix into that? How many how many Witcher Nixons can we mix in into that? I like the part where they toss toss a coin to their Witcher, you know? That's my favorite part of the show, yeah. That's a good one actually. <laughs> toss a coin to your Witcher. I've never actually heard the song yet. I haven't either. Cuz I haven't watched the show yet. Look how many look how many eggs are in this one basket, my dude. Yeah, but this format seems to be lacking a lot of removal. I just took their whole team down though, so that's pretty good. You're like, prop, 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 prop. I definitely was like prop, 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 prop. That is correct. That was the. Uh, that was the way it was, and that's the way the news goes. Apparently the guy who plays Jaskier, I don't even know who Jaskier is. Man, this energy drink was real good, man. It's got so many fruits. Tangerine, mango, guava, and strawberry. I feel like we're ahead. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. One, two, three, real four, five, We have ten damage on board, exactly. Do that a whiff, man. It smells like medicine. Really? Yeah, I used to take medicine as a kid, and I forgot what it was for. But all right, what does this do? Return a creature card from your graveyard. All right, you just get your other, your other shit rider back. It's a shit hole rider. It's a. Sh it is a. Sh it is. It is a shit hole rider. And they're just gonna die to our floater. They're gonna die. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're still dead. Still lethal. They died. Okay, so this deck's significantly better. Some of my YouTube comments was like, "Hey, you should watch this guy and this guy. Uh, you should watch their draft videos. You probably improve a little bit." And I was like, hey, "Buddy, listen. This is my first draft in this format ever. I don't even know what all the cards do. Why don't you just give me some time?" And I said, "I, I, I, I condescendingly, kind of said like." I mean, I have. I mean, and I don't think I said it condescendingly, but I did say it like matter of factly. I have, I have a pro tour in Grand Prix Top Eight. I think I'm. I think I'll be fine. I just need to learn the format a little more because it's my first draft ever. And they were like, "Has been syndrome, got it," or like something like that. And I was like, "All right, well, that's a shady thing to say, but that's that's cool." And I was just like, "Oh God." You should have been like, "How many top eights you got, bro?" I don't want to flex on people. I just want I just want a little credit. That's all. Not credit for like, hey man, give me credit for top. But like, yeah, you know, at least give me like, yeah, I'll, I'll be all right after after a few drafts, man. I can only clip one minute. It won't get the whole Rastafari and Sphinx comments. See, <laughs> Mark, if you just want to link me to it, that's totally fine. I'll just watch the link. You listen here, man. What? You better freaking tell me what's behind that green door. I don't know what's behind the green door, Michael. God damn it. No one knows, Michael. What's behind the green door? It's funny because that guy's probably never even top eighted a local. No, man, he's a top eight local legend. Yeah, oh, here it is. Uh, I think you should watch Nikolai Bolas or Legend VD. It might help you improve. I was like... I'm not like I'm not like a new player, man. <laughs> like 
I never been in a position to lose with tough APT match to a top deck gut chance. Okay, wow. Wow. Well. Oh, this hand hey, seems look, good. You finally have the right mana. Look, it's not it's not all forests. The green door holds back a plant that produces wacky tobacco. Is that true? I think so. It's really hard to know sometimes, you know. Can I get this guy on this and then have indestructible so they can't kill it? Because that seems bonkers. That seem how you say unbeatable. What did you say how you say? You clearly knew how to say it. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Behind the green door is a 1972 American feature like pornographic film. Why do you consider one of the genre's classic pictures and one of the films that ushered in the golden age of... Okay. Well, that's something. Actually, I had no idea. I was just doing the bit from uh, from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, Mark. That's it right there. Those people are so You're right. stupid. There's other stuff you can play. Witness of Tomorrows. It's a Sphinx... For five mana, it's a three four. It's majestic. It looks like an old ass wizard. It, does. it looks like an old ass Rastafarian wizard with some dread, <laughs> some dreads in his in his beard. Like confetti cake wings. Hey man, I'm gonna make you scry for four. <laughs> give me the four mana. Hey, I'll make you scry, huh? I give you a peek. Yeah. Huh? So this is four mana to scry one. I give. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I give you a peek, huh? <laughs> give me four mana. I give you the peek, huh? Okay, that's pretty, that's good, pretty good. Oh, man, old-ass Rastafarian wizard. You better not whiff. I swear to God, we have so many. All right, I'll take it. I want another green. Can I get another green? Door. I want another green door. <sighs> no blocks. Really? You're not getting in there with Tim Tim Timorette? Timorette. Uh, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard. Oh, wow. All right, that's good. Hey, that's pretty good. How do you beat a 3-3 that gets indestructible? Explain it to me. No. Oh, that's rude. I think your rudeness is unnecessary. Thank you. You exile it. Get out of here. Violated Gorilla, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Ten months. Really appreciate it, my dude. Well, our opponent looks like they're missing red. Michael's scrolling through Reddit. He's like, I gotta find out the best memes on the internet. Did you find him? Were they behind the green door? I thought that guy was joking about that, but no, the green door you're like, actually, nope, nope. That is uh, <laughs> that is what that is. I'm just gonna keep putting him on there. I have no reason not to, unless they have the five minute exile spell. But you know, what does this guy do? Other, let's see, exile two cards from from graveyards. You gain a life, sure. If I only had a dream. Actually, it's brain, isn't it? I lost it every time you crashed. I don't have the for it. Hey, man, I'll give you a little peek, man. I think you should take up that guy's advice about watching other YouTube channels. I know, a drunk. How dare you? We'll see how you type when your hands fall off. See how you smash. I'm going to Google Green Door right now and see what happens. You gotta Google behind the green door. I was gonna, um, oh god, oh here you go. Yep, there you go. Oh geez, hey, yep, that's a thing, all right. It's just like the cover of the DVD. Our deck seems very Thank good. Thank you, Josh. What's up, my dude? Thank you so much for the twenty-seven months, man. Three whole sub babies. This is a weird thing that Twitch does, and I'm honestly not sure how I feel about it. what is. What's a weird thing? Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. You are awesome, my man. Give me them double counters. Sub babies. Yeah, Twitch loves their sub babies. Behind the sub door. <laughs> I see a green door. I want to paint it black. Oh. 
I'm the Undream Door and I wanted painted black. His name is Michael B. He's That's my, a classic. Michael B. All day. His name is Michael B. He lives up in the trees. <laughs> So if they if they block here, no, they can't do that. They can block here, they take three, and they can block here, they take four, five. I have to turn my head until Mike be's done. So they take seven here? Alright. Man, they love going to one. How about a Frank stream where he watches other YouTube channels and critiques their drafting? Thank Brutal. You. I feel like that's there's nothing that's gonna like the only thing that's gonna do is Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Well, Durzo, one. thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Shut Six months, half a year, my dude. I appreciate it. It is Wednesday, my dude. Wow, happy Wednesday, my dudes. Right on the money. I look forward to hitting a sub retirement someday, collect my sub pension. All right, so we are 4 0 with this deck right now. Uh, I think it's pretty good. We haven't even played the pig yet. Who cares, Michael? I do. I want to see the pig action. Pig action. You want that hot pig action? Yeah, boy. Right on, brah. I spread my prime sub around. I, I, that's fine with me, man. Support whoever you got to support, but I appreciate it when you use it here. I appreciate you. Some people just want to watch the word burn. Marco, Marco Kane. My name is Marco Kane, and some people just want to watch the word burn. Michael B. Michael. Ironically, Frank and I both make our living off sub. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. That's that's quality. Hey, my man. My man. Oh, look, we did it again. Winning. Yes. It's because I'm full of tiger blood right now. There should be an energy drink called tiger blood. How do you feel about one of, how do you feel about this about as one of my sound effects? It could be useful. Yeah. Okay. What about Al Pacino from from Heat being like, great ass? <laughs> you feel like that's gonna work? Don't waste my motherfucking time. <laughs> See, that would be good. Yeah, that would be. You'd use that all the time. I could like I could, re re yeah, yeah, I, I could replace the Today Junior with that one. Oh, that's a lot of cursing, though. I don't it, know if that is. matters for YouTube, though. They, they say that, like, it sometimes doesn't. No, it's not. You're not going to get demonetized for cursing. Apparently, if you use the C word, you can. C word's a bad one. C U N T. Uh, yes, we all know what's, what the C word is, Michael. You thought, are you sure I didn't mean chromium? Well, you know, I push my fingers into my eyes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is some, a slipknot lyric. Why do you know, why do you know a slipknot lyric? That's Destroy like the most creature. popular song. Also, yep. like, I used to not like Slipknot, but now I kind of like them. They circled back around. Wow. That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. At least some of their songs. That's crazy. It's Michael B. He's crazy. Also, like, they're like the heavy metal version of uh, Wu-Tang. They have so many members. Yeah, slipped on as like the white the white Wu Tang. <laughs> Except I still, I think slipped on is scarier. Well, they just wear a cheesy mask. That's all, really. But they're also like I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh huh. Middle class disenfranchised white guys are real scary, dude. They're probably the most scary. Oh sure, but I don't think that that's not really that band's fault. What's not their fault? What what's not their fault? Like it's not their fault that like who who's into them, right? No, I'm talking about the but that that's what they all are, right? 
like I don't think they themselves are I think they're just dudes that perform they're not right but how do you get that angry if you're not like that's true there are ska bands yeah ska bands do have a lot of members but ska bands are uplifting and happy Bird art burr. Oh, cool. Wait, do I have a flashy spell? I don't, so that's cool. I just lose everything. That sucks because if I got the flash spell, I could actually sacrifice something else. I could make a 1 1 in response. Watch, it's going to be the flash spell. It's not. Okay, well. That's the impression that I get. Do you think originally Slipknot was a ska band and then they, they got angry? You think what? I think Slipknot was originally a ska band, but then they got angry and they yeah. turned to the heavy metal. I was in a ska band once. Jake, weren't we both in a ska band? What was the name of our ska band? Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I was in a ska band, but I don't remember the name of it. A likely story. <laughs> I'm in a band with over 30 people. Is that true? Is that like true, Mike? Band? Because that would make sense. Have you ever been in a marching band? I know a few who have. No, do 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 do. Huh. Well. So you're in a ska band that covered the national. That's interesting. I'd listen to that. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yesterday. Mike B's troubles were so far away. Oh, my battery's at 11%. Oh, Michael B's battery's getting so low, I have to put it on the charger. Nah, I don't care. Oh, he does not care. His mommy is going to message him, and he's not going to get it. <laughs> and she'll be like, my little Michael, why? <laughs> Michael, why did you not call me? I stay up all night <laughs> worrying, Michael. Why does she have this voice again? You don't know why your mother sounds like she does? Michael, listen, it is your mother. I just want to make sure my little baby is okay. Are Aquabats Aqu Ska? Aren't they more like pop punk? I could be misremembering. Oh, the early stuff was got. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You got my. You got my guy, I guess. Q Q Q Q Q. All creatures able to block this guy have to block this guy. Do 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 do. You can stay there, and then I'm going to fight your friend and then attack you for 14. Don't care about your little idiot friend. Attack you for 14 damage. It seems pretty good. I guess you're at 5. Hey man, this dude, this dude just attacked for 10. And there was no penalty whatsoever. Do you only pay? Do you only play constructor people ask for donate for deck? That usually, usually. I have a bunch of decks in the queue, but I like making sure the people who want them are there for them. So usually I delay them if I can, or if I have to rather. Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. Michael, why are you like this? 
Please, Michael, listen to to your to your papa. Yeah, he's got some of the wow, wow. I do, I do. I have I have some Scrubs arcades deck. Ha <laughs> ha. No, just kidding, David. When do you want to do that? By the way. I saw the Aquabats live last summer. There was like six year old kid crowd surfing on a giant inflatable pizza. Same. Wow, that does sound wild. That's that's wild, man. I wish I had a giant pizza of the uninflatable kind. Uninflatable. What if you could still eat it and it was inflatable? Well, I feel like we'd be in some sort of parallel universe then, because that sounds magical. Like ma like magical auto 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 electromotive. Is that like it's a called? pizza that you, if you want Sicilian, you you pump it up. What's a Sicilian? Sicilian. There you go. Why do you pronounce your eyes as e's? I don't know. It just happens. Anyway, like Mike calls you know the window sill, like the thing that's you know the base of a window, the window sill. Mike calls it a window seal, and I'm just like, why are you always pronouncing all these things? So anyway, if you want a thick crust, you just pump it up, and if you want a thin crust, you just deflate it, and you can just have all the pizzas you want. Huh. Go on. Do you prefer your pizza boneless? Is that from something? Don't they taste made by fish? Sure. Who cares about that? Well, I wish I had a fucking green mana here, but I guess that is a lot to ask for a two-color deck. He's definitely not referencing the seal around the window that keeps... Why don't they attack here? Is there a... Do I... Is there a flash creature? <laughs> I tried, Mike. <laughs> she had to get a Sicilian section. The baby's crust was too thick. What's the other thing you say that's fucking... That's hilarious. Oh, uh... <laughs> Oh, he says sour of temptation, as if, like, it's a candy. I didn't say that. You always say sour. I say sour. No, you don't. I correct you. No. Michael. No. Michael. What about when I said raw scratch? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Rorschach. Michael called the, fucking, the guy from Watchmen. And the, the classic psychological test, he called it raw scratch. He's like, what's his name? Raw scratch? Thank oh, you. Jesus. Mike the Mailman, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I watch you more than Netflix. Take my Netflix money. I will. I will. My cousin calls milk milk. I think some people just say it that way. Milk? Yeah. I ain't never heard anybody call it milk. You don't like good milk? No. Sour of temptation. Milk is a super Midwestern thing. Milk is a tasty treat. <laughs> Tell me more. Where, really does it, there is to it. where does it come from? Green, mana, green, mana, green, mana, green, mana, green, mana. That's a white card. White mana, white mana. That's all I have. Milk is a tasty treat. I think Crick is fine, though. Crick is actually like a... Uh, Crick is like a... Turn... No, don't do that. Uh, Crick is like a dialect thing. That's regional, you know what I mean? But window seal, like, that's just, you're just saying a different word. Sicilian. Discard two cards, sure. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. Remember that song? It's about the green door. Shut up, Michael. Get rid of one will. I guess I'll get rid of boar. Behind the green boar.
Tim, Tim, Timmy. No? You don't want to come at me? <sighs> I kind of just want to scoop here. I mean, I'll play it out because, you know. I don't know, dude. I think the Growing Pains song gets stuck in my head every other month. And I feel like I just want to share that with people. Behind the mic door. Yeah, if we have only forests in hand, which happened twice, we should keep those. And if we have only planes in hand, which has happened I think twice. We should ship those. Hey. Wow, fashionable late to the party. Probably too little too late. Oh, and we just we just clicked through that. Okay, we're done. Yep. Alright. Oh, uh, this guy actually seems decent here. Oh yeah, here he goes, back scratching with his phone again. He got a phone back scratcher. Oh, actually, Sentinel's Eyes could be better than one of these Indomitable Wills. Just because of the vigilance. Yeah, we can play Omen of the Hunt just to get our second color. Oh boy. All right, let's try to, you know what? Deal. How many colors has it got, two? Deal. This draft went quick. We're only at an hour and eight minutes. Frustrating? I've, I don't think I've ever heard anything say frustrating. It has two R. Durzo, are you drunk right now, my dude? I think Durzo's sitting behind the green door right now. You know what I'm saying? My keyboard. The goggles, they do nothing. Little bird man, a little bird man. Warsh a lot. Yeah, Warsh is another dialect thing, though. Whereas, like, I don't know why you call it seal, window seal, or, like, Sicilian. Because that's no, there's no dialect for the word Sicilian. Like, that's just a, that's just a word. Like, Sicilian is not a popular enough word to be like, oh, that's just how we say it in Ohio. <laughs> not even from Ohio. I don't know where you're from. I don't even care about you. Wow. Got him. Hmm. I think I'll. I think I'll try to trade here. Behind the mic, B. So what is this, just a 3-4? Sure. Yeah, swoop that hair. I will. Good. 
Get my, I get my swoop on. How about a bed? Okay, now we're talking. So we can go training on this beautiful baby. Blessing on this beautiful baby. Attack with all our beautiful babies. Attack with a snack. I hope they don't crack back. Alright, I think we're doing okay. We are currently winning, my dude. They're at seven? Are we 3 0 this first draft that we do on, on Magic Online? Behind the green door. What is this? This is just a 2 1 that whenever you cast your first spell during an opponent's turn, you may tap or untap a thing. You got it. I bet you'll be playing some spells, won't you? You may tap. You may untap. No. Do not tap. Thank you. Cast. Hey, you get both colors and you're able to cast impactful spells and do things. I agree. Behind the Michael B. Swear to God, man, if you don't tell me what's behind that green door. Michael, I don't know, okay? I don't know. I watched a video from the other day where you had the stip draw all lands. Wait, what happened? Which one? Wait, which one? You got it. You can tap my... My bronze-breasted rhinoceros. Stip draw lands, that's every draft, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, they're going to two here? Good gravy. Sure, big fat chicken. Behind the chicken. If you're going to bounce this, you're going to bounce it, but... I think they have the one mana bounce of thing. So they bounce our bronze side and they can tap our horn beetle. Sure. I feel like modern these days. Found a sweet 5 list I was going to share, but he's still. Uh, yeah, I, no, I like modern. If the list is cool. Yep. And one mana bounce a thing, tap a thing. Bounce a thing, tap a thing. Are you okay, man? Huh? Are you falling asleep? A little bit. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. You can hear him because his breathing gets louder and he just kind of does nothing. 
<laughs> yep, this is exactly what we figured they'd do. Oh, I tried to stop it, man. Joke's on you. You tried to stop what? Falling asleep? Yeah. Is that a thing you can do? I can try. Oh, man. Cracking that to, to scry? That's desperation. Need some desperation. That's right. That's right. Mike, you ever been in an MRI tube? What does that mean? An, an A tube that... that gets... Oh, yes. I've had an MRI before. Once. What does that mean? Oh, sacrifice creature? Sure. How sad. Find the green door. I think we I think we win here or we kill both their guys something none of these guys have trample that's unbelievable how big is this guy when it comes out I think we're not they're not yeah that's not great oh we just sack this guy if they play their their Farika's spawn which I think they're doing because that guy doesn't even come out of the green door I wish you never got this in my head my dude don't need blame me the Tarantino. Okay. So they just go block here, block here, huh? That is unfortunate. Um. Uh... Birds flying high. Whatever, he got vigilance. Sure. Man, oh man. 5 6 and a 2 1. It's like the perfect draw, my dude. Can I get Nessie and Pig? That'd be great. Give me my fat boar. Okay, two boars in the deck. I've not drawn one. I feel like we're in a pretty unbeatable spot, but now, not so much. Seems good. It's frustrating. Get three, four flyer. Let me scry every single turn back. It's pretty good. Thank you. The simulation is broken. Hardest of core. Thank you for for the reset, my dude. Really appreciate it. Oh man.
You'll be good. What? Crawling more lands. Do you think so? I was actually thinking the opposite. Hmm. Interesting. Hunter's got a licking problem. <laughs> you can hear Hunter licking in the background. That's that sucks. Yep, I think we're probably dead here. Like we have to have a board, and like they have to not have an answer for it, which is pretty. A pretty tall order, I would imagine. Because the boars and the hood are always hard, comes down in that trench and I'm holding your side. This card's very good. Yeah, that's rough. Can I get a boar? That's not a boar. I guess we'll try it out anyway and see what happens. I'm sure they got an answer for that guy. Yeah, seeing opponents stabilize at two life when, like, when they just draw non-stop infinite cards and you're like, Jesus, how many omens do they have in their deck? At least three, I guess? I mean, maybe they don't have an answer. This thing just gets big, big, and then we make it have a trample. How do we even give it... Oh, maybe. Huh. They're also kind of running out of cards here. That's why I like red. Just bolt your face. Well, there isn't any lightning bolts in this format, so... Oh, that was all at the end of my turn. Well, that's cool. <laughs> what? Sure. Oh, man. Is this uncommon? Of course it is. Why you have multiples? <laughs> yep, yeah, that fucking sucks. Yep, yeah. three drop. Nope, absolutely useless card. Amazing, actually amazing draws. Three of the three of the legendary creature and two of the boars, and we hit like none of them. So, next card. Yep, there's that one. All right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitchtv slash patreoncom slash CoolStuffInc.com, Manitraders.com. All those links and promo codes are down below. And if you're on YouTube, definitely check out the membership options because that's a great way to help out the channel without going to Twitch. I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.